we're here. We're doing a um, tabletop, I guess you'd call it, of something I just got in. I can't find anything about it on the internet, so I figured somebody out there, you may want to see this. Um, so first off, let's show off. We got this. This is old. This is, well, old. I bought this last year. This is my North American Arms Bug Out 1. This is their first generation bug out. Really, really cool little piece. Um, this was a is a 22 long rifle. Came in a plano case, which was really cool, and it fit. It was made to fit with a box of ammo in this watertight case. Close it up, and um, you could hide it somewhere, put it somewhere, store it. It's really neat. It's a neat little thing, which is why I bought it. Plus, it was not that expensive. These North American Arms guns aren't that expensive, really, to begin with. But So there's that one. But today on the table, ooh, let's line that up, is the North American Arms uh, Bug Out 2. This is the second version that they came out with. Um, they've made some changes. Overall, it's very similar. Packaging is, well, we'll get into it. So comes in this cool little white box. Um, you open up your white box, and inside you get a lockbox uh, with the North American Arms sticker. Um, it's nothing that fancy. Um, I did look inside the box at the bottom earlier, and there's a little sticker that says Made in China. So this is probably nothing more than a $20 box. But, you know, I guess if you, uh, you want to collect stuff like this, if you collect North American Arms stuff, uh, you get their sticker in the box. Um, it does have little mounting brackets on the bottom. It's your typical gun safe thing. Um, don't consider this a safe though. Those, I can tell you from experience that these little locks here can be uh, picked open almost instantly, if not just raked open. So um, this is to keep guns out of like kids' hands, I'd say. Um, but anybody that knows how to open one of these things, it's not very difficult. This is not security. But anyways, Comes in this box while well, I'm getting off on a tangent. You open the box, and you have a gun. Um, yeah, you know, your uh, your little uh, snack right here, silica gel. Tells you some instructions. Underneath this is the key and some other gubbins. Um, I bought the standalone version. They also make a combo, which has the 22 mag and the 22 LR uh, cylinder, but I just wanted the magnum. So, big change this year. Um, is that it is, as you can see, a 22 Magnum versus the old one was a 22 LR. It's really cool. Um, I don't know that they're doing a limited edition, so my, um, uh, my original bug out was a limited run. They did 1,500 of them, and the serial number says that. It's like serial is 1 through 1,500. I'm like 11 something. Um, I don't know if these are as rare as those are going to be, if they're making more of them, but either way, they're really neat. Comes with a Hogue overmold grip, like a rubber grip on the back. Um, it does come with an excess sight. It's a tritium with a white dot around it, which is cool. It does glow in the dark. Um, I do, this has their, like, this specific profile for the Bug Out series, and I think this is one of the neater profiles they have. It's very squared off, uh, but it's really cool. Uh, cylinder pops out. You have to half cock it, obviously. Your cylinder will come out, and... Um, it's uh, made for a 22 Magnum, so that's why I ended up buying a box of this 22 Magnum. I've never owned anything in 22 Mag, so this is kind of a first for me. But you know, they're kind of neat little, uh, neat little hot 22s, I guess you could say. Some people say it's a kind of like a 5.7 light since it's the same size bullet. I don't know that I'm going to make that argument here and get hate in the comments, but um, 22 Mag is a is a stout little round and it's pretty neat. So, some things to show you guys before I cut this video short. Yes, it does not come in a Plano box. Guys, NAA, what are you doing? I, the Plano box is like the coolest thing. I understand that you can't fit the box of ammo in this little Plano box with it, but still, the Plano box is cool. Um, these Plano cases, I think, can be had for like 15, 20 bucks. I'm going to go on Amazon later and buy one of these to put this gun in uh, because I think it's cooler having it in that versus this. This is probably going to just sit in the safe, this lockbox. If there's anybody out there that's like a super fan of North American Arms and wants this this case, let me know. I'll sell it to you for cheap because I'm, I'm never going to use it. Um, but yeah, cool stuff here. So if you own the Bug Out 1, um, 
I'm just gonna say that mine seems to be interchangeable. I don't know if these cylinders are fitted to each gun, but from what I can tell, um, the 22 cylinder fits and will probably shoot just fine in the bug out too. It's the same exact size frame, um, basically same everything other than you get a stamping that says 22 Magnum and a black grip versus the orange grip. Um, but otherwise it's exactly the same. So my guess is the Magnum probably will also go into the 22 bug out. And look at that. Who would have guessed that it fits backwards compatible with the 22 bug out? Um, so they may tell you not to do this. For me, there's no dimensional differences. I have a feeling all your pressure comes from your chamber anyways. This, this holds all the pressure. This doesn't really do a whole lot on these little cartridges. I would, my guess is it'd be safe to shoot it like this. I'm probably going to, I'm going to go out to the range and do some shooting later. Um, I'll switch them up back and forth and, and report back to you guys. But either way, really, really cool. So now I have, well, we got to put it back together. Um, but now I have a 22 long rifle version on the bottom. And let's see, is that, yeah, that's the Magnum cylinder. And a 22 Magnum on the top. Um, I've never owned 22 mag, so this is kind of cool. This is my first, my first uh, trip down the 22 mag lane. So I'm excited to go shoot it. Um, it's gonna be a little snappier, obviously, than the 22 LR, um, but they're both more than capable of, of what they're supposed to be, which is a little varmint gun is what I would consider them. Nothing more than that. Um, but yeah, this is what you get, not this. <laughs> you get this, and if you buy the extra cylinder, you'll get the 22 cylinder. Uh, if you already own the bug out one, don't get the extra cylinder. Just go ahead and get the bug out two because they seem to be interchangeable. Um, other than that, it's you know it's your typical North American arms. I think um, I think it's like ah, 280 bucks for this case here without the ammo, obviously. Um, for this with just one cylinder and the lockbox, um, North American arms. Do a Plano case next time. It was way cooler. <laughs> but uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad price for what you get. It's kind of a neat little toy. I'd say toy, as in the gun world toys. Um, but it, it does serve a purpose. They're kind of cool. You can lock the cylinder like that. I th nope. No, wait, wait, wait. Like, come on. Oh, I got to pull the trigger. Lock the... There we go. So they do have little half cock notches or um, I guess it's a... I don't know what these are called. The little notches for the hammer to sit into. Hammer notch, maybe. Um, and it locks it so it's safe to, it's, it's drop safe, it's pocket safe. Um, it can't go off um, until you pull the hammer back and fire. So there you go. This is the North American Arms Bug Out 2, second generation. Um, I'm a huge fan. I think they're really cool guns. If you are able to find one of the Bug Out 1s, why not get both? You got 22 and then Magnum. Um, and you get a cool grip with it. So come on, it's awesome. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy like, share, subscribe, check me out on Instagram. That's where I'm most prolific. I don't post a lot on here, as you guys can tell. Um, check me on Instagram, though. It's baby underscore face P. Um, and it's basically a dog and pictures of guns. That's what you're going to find on my Instagram. It's buckshot slash neck bone, since everybody calls on that, and then guns. So go check me out over there. Anyways, peace.